What's up everyone, it's Caddy with MoneyVest. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about one stock that has massive potential. I've traded this company before. Earlier this year, we had a very nice gain and uh, it is now almost on the verge of profitability. And as a result, it has had significant outperformance in 2023. It's up over 51% on a year-to-day basis, now starting to break out even further higher and uh, it's approaching its resistance with a massive breakout from its symmetrical triangle. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this company. As always, if you enjoyed, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, links to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. There is a 16% annual discount that's available till the end of this month. I've opened up a few more spots and you get access to over 40 plus videos and private lectures and tutorials, full access to all the spreadsheets, including intrinsic values, fair values, uh, fundamental analysis, everything's going to be included, as well as the Discord access with over 20 plus channels, trade alerts, finance alerts, options alerts, ideas, everything is going to be included with the Discord and the link's going to be down below. Also do connect with me on Instagram. My handle is going to be CastWRP. I do share a lot of interesting stories, portfolio updates, PNLs, and uh, definitely do check out the courses down below for fundamentals, technicals, options, and psychology. You get lifetime access to over 100 plus lectures and over 30 plus hours of content also included. So company we're talking about today is going to be Twilio and Twilio is a packaged software business that has done incredibly well year to date up over 50%. This is the weekly chart and we have seen seven straight weeks of gains for Twilio. It's up a little bit over 52%. And this week it's up another 7% right now trading just under $76 per share. This right here was a symmetrical triangle and I have traded Twilio before a couple times earlier this year in May and then another time later this year uh, where both times it was really, really strong. I think it was over here, uh, actually earlier this year in this right here, the momentum and this right here was back in May. Uh, didn't quite catch the swing on over here but I do believe that the company is turning the corner towards profitability really well. So you can see the margins are getting better. They are growing revenues also in a very nice consistent increase, but profitability has always been a little bit of a concern for Twilio and more specifically, the balance sheet's phenomenal for this business. And as a result, it was actually trading very close to its net liquidation value in the past. That, that, that's exactly why it was a quote unquote, no brainer stock to buy, in my opinion, when it was trading in the low 40s uh, at the time. Now, going over to uh, the products, we've got Twilio Flex, the cloud contact center platform, Twilio Conversations, programmable video, we've got programmable voice, SMS, uh, phone numbers, a lot of, it's basically a lot of package software that they sell. And this right here has been the performance for Twilio against the S&P 500. So of course we had a huge run up uh, in 2020 and 2021 on the back of really, really low interest rates. And of course, during the pandemic of a lot of the high growth stocks were doing really well. And of course it came crashing back down and it's on par with the S&P and the NASDAQ as well. Uh, when it comes to the overall highlights for the revenue in terms of the third quarter 2023 revenues came in at just a little bit over a billion dollars, 5% growth year over year with organic revenue coming in at just over a billion, 8% growth year over year and non-GAAP income from operations, $136 million with 13% margins with dollar based net expansion rate about 101% and active customer accounts growing to over 306,000 as well. Total revenue, as you can see, has been growing consistently both on a year over year basis and quarter over quarter basis, although slowing down a little bit. So you can see the year over year growth has obviously come down as numbers get bigger and bigger. And that's very, very normal for any company as the company is growing. The growth rates definitely do come down over time as it gets bigger and bigger. Non-GAAP gross profit on a very nice consistent increase year over year up over 11%. And every single quarter, they've been able to grow their non-GAAP gross profit as well. Very high margins, over 50% margins, as you would expect with a packaged software company. And this right here is the guidance for fiscal year 2023, where they are expecting uh, non-GAAP income from operations, so operating income 475 to $485 million with fourth quarter guidance of daily earnings per share. 53 to 57 cents per share with uh, income from operations 115 to 125 million dollars for the company and total revenue is just over a billion dollars with about one to two percent four to five percent year-over-year growth which of course is slowing down considering uh the environment that we're in now twilio however sees a much bigger tam so total addressable market for the company is estimated to be about 116 billion dollars um and that is going to be in 2025 thanks to growing adoption of cloud enabler customer engagement software and messaging applications. Uh, and of course, there's gonna be an element of artificial intelligence also included. And this market, so the CPAAS uh, cloud uh, sort of market uh, is expected to clock an annual growth of over 29% 
on a Kager basis um, all the way through 2027 and generate $45 billion in annual revenue as well. And if Twilio can maintain its share of its fast growing space after five years, its top line could jump to over 13 $0.5 billion for the company. That's up from about $4.1 billion, so more than double in the next four to five years. And you can see the revenue and the gross profit has been on a very nice consistent increase over the years. That's exactly one of the reasons I do like Twilio from a revenue and a gross profit standpoint because they've been able to grow these numbers really, really well. And gross profit's almost at two billion dollars with operating income of course being a little bit of a problem it has grown on a non-gap basis but gap profitability is still not there yet that is of course one of the issues for the company even though uh, we've seen revenue and gross profit grow very nicely they're also spending a lot of money on sgna marketing and selling and of course research research and development and this right here diluted shares are standing just a little bit under 17 million to now over 184 million but it's been a little bit more stagnant over the last three years. Of course, they have seen a significant amount of share dilution, but last two to three years, it's been more or less flat. Now, this is what's really encouraging for Twilio is the balance sheet, right? So total cash sitting at just under 4 billion with total debt sitting at a little bit over a billion. And we've got a net debt, which is going to be just under 2.6 billion dollars. So very, very nice balance sheet with plenty of cash and little to no debt for the company and current and quick ratio sitting at well over six to over 6.5 for the business, so very, very nice uh, balance sheet with debt to free cash flow sitting a little bit under five. Doesn't really matter because the company does have more cash than debt on the balance sheet. Now valuation is also quite okay on a non-gap basis, 32 to 39. Price to cash flow is a little bit, of course, higher, 28 to 95. So forward basis, it's 28, which is a lot more reasonable. And enterprise value to EBITDA, we're looking at uh, just over 13 on a forward basis and price to sale is gonna be a little bit over three for the company. So valuation is actually not that terrible for the company. And if you take a look at the margins, we're looking at 48, almost 50% uh, gross margins. Of course, the problem begins on the bottom line where we have negative free cash flow margins, negative net margins and EBITDA margins for the company as well. So definitely there is uh, some profitability concerns for the business, but eventually I do expect them to be profitable. As you can see, uh, 215 to over 244 to 306, 445 and 565. Those are some of the expectations for earnings per share for the company. So if you plug in some of these numbers into their forecast, so 215 um, all the way to 565 in terms of that growth all the way through 2027, uh, we are looking at a growth rate of just over 27% for the company. So if you account for, let's say, a share count of uh, 184 million, so 184 times 215, we're looking at a net income of just under $400 million for the business. So if you come over to our analysis here, so 400 million, and we, let's say, grow them by about uh, 16%, that's going to be lower than the actual 27% growth that analysts are expecting, giving them a 20 times price earnings multiple, 12% discount rate, 10% margin of safety, no share dilution, we arrive at an intrinsic value of $47. And right now it's trading at 75. And this is considering a very reasonable 16% growth rate, even though analysts are expecting them to grow at a little bit over 27% over the next four to five years. Even if we go with, let's say 20% growth here, and we give them a 20 times P multiple. Now we're looking at $56, which is only 26% away from where it's trading at the moment. And this right here is going to be the intrinsic value spreadsheet where you can take a look at the earnings expectations for the growth and the price to earnings multiple and where my intrinsic value would sit on Twilio moving forward. So this right here is going to be the entire sensitivity grid for, uh, for Twilio where I would be a lot more comfortable on this stock at closer to sub 50s and of course closer to $40 um, for, for the company. And this right here is the overall technical analysis where you'll notice of course Twilio had a very significant run up during the pandemic. And this right here is the entire sell off came right back down from 430 to $40 per share. So that was probably over a 90% sell off. So let me just take a quick look. That was down over, yep, exactly over 90%. And since then, it's been consolidating sideways in this range where there's been a lot of, you know, symmetrical triangle and a lot of resistance at over here at 79 to $80. So big, big resistance here, massive support over here at 40 bucks. And that's been kind of like the $40 range within which it's been trading. So very nice, consistent move up for seven consistent, consistent weeks. Uh, of course, it's rallied over 50%, but support level now is going to stay put at 69, close to $70 per share for Twilio.
all the way down to as low as $50. In fact, this right here would be a level where I would be a lot more interested at sub $50 for Twilio. Balance sheet's great, revenue's growing, profitability's growing, margins and profitability. In, in other words, the net income, the bottom line is a little bit of an issue that needs to be solved and executed well over time for this company. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and what do you think about Twilio? I like it as a business. I like it from a revenue standpoint, from a gross profit standpoint, from a balance sheet standpoint, but there are some yellow and red flags to be aware of and that is the share dilution, the actual profitability for execution and in terms of valuation, I like it more closer to $49, $50 per share. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed it, found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, do check out the courses. Do check out my Instagram. Handle is going to be castwrp. And definitely do join our Patreon and our Discord. And I'm sure you'll get a lot of value and a lot of insightful analysis uh, through our Discord channels and our Patreons as well. So links going to be down below. As always, happy investing. And I will see you all in the next video.